Hey everyone, Jared back again, and under the microscope this time is an affordable compact Bluetooth speaker, which, even though I'm known to be overly critical in my reviews, actually surprised me with its performance. So getting into the box, and aside from its lackluster presentation, we do get our speaker, a USB to micro USB charging cable, a 3.5mm auxiliary cable, and a little velvet pouch as well as the standard instruction manual. Now one thing that struck me right away with this speaker was the cool honeycomb design with the black and red color choice. It's actually quite a handsome little package, though durability is still to be determined due to its thin, hard plastic shell. Uh, though in the hand, it does seem to be of solid build quality and that metal screen covering the speakers doesn't hurt either. Uh, there's a little LED light that helps you know when it's Bluetooth pairing, uh, playing music or charging, uh, Bluetooth 4.0 by the way, and around the side we have an auxiliary port, on off switch, and a micro USB port for charging. Now at the top is the Bluetooth pairing button which is also used to play and pause audio as well as answer and end calls. And of course next to that is the volume adjustment buttons which unfortunately Unfortunately, weren't dual purpose for track skipping. The two built-in speakers are 40 millimeters in size and have a power output of 3 watts each and a frequency of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And the sound this can pump out is pretty darn good too. I tested its sound over many different types of music and while it does struggle quite a bit with the deep bass from rap and hip hop for example, I, in fact it actually vibrated around my desk and had some pretty extreme distortion when I tested it, uh, it actually performed really well with pretty much every other genre. Uh, to me it sounded like it was almost designed to play electronic dance music because it seems like it handles EDM at all volume levels without any issues, which is unfortunate if you're not an EDM fan because you'll never be able to play the speaker at max volume without the lows and highs being damn near intolerable. Uh, that said, it's not the end of the world, just dial it down one or two clicks and the distortion smooths right out. And if you're worried about battery life, don't be. Uh, it packs either a 2000 or 2100 milliamp hour battery. Um, I say either because it says 2100 on their site, but 2000 on Amazon. Uh, but anyways, Inatech claims it'll last anywhere between 9 to 15 hours. And in my testing, playing this at max volume each time I use it, I believe I was able to reach the claimed 9 hours or thereabouts, uh, which is pretty darn good considering the size and weight with it coming in only at 390 grams. Uh, and speaking of playing it at max volume, this thing gets that's stupid loud, uh, so loud in fact that I think they should actually dial it down and limit it just a bit at the factory because I'm positive that'll prevent anyone else from complaining about distorted audio playback. But whatever, like I said before, just a couple of clicks down on the volume and the distortion is gone and we're left with pretty damn clean audio with maybe not so great bass punch but really phenomenal mids and highs, uh, especially when you consider the price point, size and weight. In fact, I'd even have to say my favorite thing about this pack is the vocal clarity, even at the insanely high volume levels. Anyways folks, that's it for this one. Uh, as always, I'll have a link for pricing and availability in the video description below. Let me know if you like this video and if you'd like to see more Bluetooth speaker reviews by clicking that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Uh, but thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.